Udu is now <coughs> not in use anywhere in Tamil Nadu. And even in Sri Lanka, it is only in Jaffna. In Batiklo and other regions also it is lost. Only in Jaffna, Udu is very common. Uvan and Tambi, Udu and Budu, Udalam Poram, Udalam Param, Udu is very common. So Udu and Mure, Udu and Gadavur. Kundagai 216, Malay Innam Pai Mulangi Minnam. Malay Innam Pai Mulangi Minnam is only used. Noike Marandu Aha, the Kurundaha 263, is Noike Marandu Aha, it is used as it is. Tangine Ram Tapro, Kurundaha 345, Tangine Ayin Tapro, Talavika Kral Talavan, the Engada Witle, Engada Urle, Tangi Ponal Play, Tangine Ayin Tapro, Engada Witle, Tangine and Dal Tapro, Engada Urle, Tangine and Dal Tapro. It's a common usage in Jaffna. Enakka Mahadi. Enakka Mahadi. So, I have uh, gone through all the 400 times in Kurundagai and found that there are many, many examples. So, if you go through other seven anthologies in Aitatogai and Patapati, you will come several instances where even now used in Tamil Nadu, Sri Lanka and wherever the Tamils live. We hope that just one example would suffice to prove the continuity of the classical Tamil. George Hart says that the classical language tend to be either dead languages or show a high degree of diglossia as the spoken varieties of the language diverge further and further away from the classical written language over centuries. Though Tamil shows a higher degree of diglossia, it is neither a dead language, nor it has lost its classical aspects even now. That is because Tamil has never been a religious language. Being a secular language in India, even when Rigveda, Upanishads, and Dhammas were available, they were all religious. In India, Tamil literature, the end of the literature, which was said yesterday also, Tamil points depict the period of the antiquity of Tamil culture. Dr. Krishnamurti has stated that the Sangam Consider the earliest Tamil literature belong broadly from the second century BC to the third century AD. A study of those poems would reveal the fact that some belong to a period before the introduction of rice culture in the Tamil region. The poem composed by Mangudi Kalar from Purnanuru, 335 verse, Sangam mythologies clearly states. The poem is Adalaram Tupin Kurande Mullai under those first two lines I'm missing. So in between we have lost uh, some lines. Kurande Mullai Andri Innangi Allari Pova Millai Karangal Varake Iringa the Pinaye Sirhodi Kolle Oigular Avareod Inangalaru Unavu Millai Todian Anan, Parayan, Kadamban, and the Indian Gala the Kudium Milai. Ulla Tower, Munan the Vilangi, Uluran the Matan, Color Ring the Wilden, Kale Paravin Alade, Meluhutu Paravum Kadavum, Ilave. Like Nadavahayan Tavu, Nadavahayan Kudi, Nadavahayan Malar, Engaway Vankam. Nilhut to Peru and the Kadavul and Gardam Ilay, Egadam Nangal Vanangu Pelam, Bira Bira Kaldan. And the Purano, Matimopatinda of the Padas of the Angay, Angay Ula Tamla Hurri, Unavu, Nanga Vahayan, Unavuda. 
அரிசி வந்து சேரவில்லை அரிசி பண்பாடு வந்து சேரவில்லை அரிசி பண்பாட்டுக்கு பல பண்பாட்டு கூறுகள் இருக்கின்றன இந்த பாட்டிலேயே சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கின்றது கடவுளை வணங்குவதற்கு அது பயன்படுத்தப்படுகின்றது Rice culture involves rice eating and religious rites in which rice is mainly used. Further, it states that they had been worshipping the hero stone only and it also states that the god worshipped with scattering pity over him was not known to them. The classical language, according to George Hart, is a language with a literature that is classical. It should be mentioned, it should be an independent tradition that wrote mostly on its own, not as an offshoot of another tradition and it must have a large and extremely rich body of ancient literature. Tamil qualifies to be a classical language according to these definitions. It has a collection of ancient literature and is not an offshoot of another tradition. Gurraja Rao, a specialist from Mysore, professor, he observes that the reality culture reached South India by 8th century BC and it was well established in Tamil Nadu by 8th century BC. The Sangam literary composition referred to a number of aspects of this culture and therefore according to him at least some point of Sangam anthologies may belong to 5th century BC. Rajan, professor from Tanjavur, Tanjai Tamil University, he points out that Tamil Nadu must have possessed the writing system from 1000 years BC. Tolhapiyam, Elthadiharam and Solariharam attest this fact. These two chapters of the earliest Tamil grammatical work describe a language that preceded Sangam literature. Thiruvalluvas Thirukural is acclaimed to be the greatest Tamil classic unique in the deliverance of code of conduct to the mankind to follow for all time to come and it has been translated in many languages of the world. Classical Tamil possesses the following specialities that give a special status among the world classical languages. That is not, not a complete list. I am just giving a few. Number one, it has a grammatical work that is not found in any one of the classical languages of the world. The Tamil grammatical work Prohapiyam is not just a grammar of the language, it is also the grammar of Tamil literature. It defines the literary tradition of the Changam literature and also it provides a well-defined literary theory. Unlike many of the classical languages, it has an antiquity and also continuity. Only Chinese language would fall into this category. It has an antiquity and continuity even in literature, in the literary development of Tamil, one could observe a steady and unbroken growth. For example, Atrupadai we had 2000 years ago. And that literary form is again, even in the modern times. Lower Atrupadai, Kadali Atrupadai and several Atrupadais have been written. Therefore, unparalleled in world literary productions, Bible has been translated to more than 500 languages, Holy Quran 